Oh man, I love a good cringe Meghan Markle video and the Sidley twins just delivered a massive one. Welcome to Popcorn Palace. I am Andy Signor, and it's collab week again, and I'm so happy to have these guests back. Oh my gosh, look, Stephanie, Nancy, Sidley, how are you guys doing? You, Andy. <laughs> so fun to have you guys on. I love the energy, uh, uh, and I love that you guys sent me an amazingly cringe video. I missed this video. I apologize. I, I wish I, I'm sure you guys can relate. I wish I could watch all of my favorite creators' videos. It's just so hard when you're making content to get yeah. there. So I'm glad you spotlighted this one. And guys, if you want to catch more fun stuff like this, check out Twin Talk with the Sidley Twins over on YouTube. They post amazing stuff. So you when you guys have time, check them out too. But they shared this video that they reacted to on their channel, and I'm so glad they did because, guys, this is as cringe as it gets. So I'm so great. So, But before we get to it, welcome. How are you both doing? Good. How are you? We're we're doing great. We. Uh, I'm good. I'm I'm technically on spring break with my daughter yeah. this week. That's why I'm taping these. So I'm <laughs> yeah. sure right now in real life I'm great. Uh, Wait, are you on? But, uh, are you on a water slide somewhere? Is that where you? No, are? it's gonna be cold. I guess I can oh, say where okay. I'm going. I'm going. I'm I'm in Minnesota. Oh, okay. Nice. <laughs> I know why. I won't explain the whys, but yeah, I, I'm I'm annoyed. It's I'm told it's very cold. No disrespect to you, Minnesotians, uh, but well, it's we'll colder than fun. where I'm in Florida. Yeah. Definitely. But uh, anyway, we're gonna have a lot of fun. We have we have a couple things that she's doing, and I'm excited to be there. But yes, welcome back, and here we go. All right. So before we play this, can you set this up? Because we love maximum cringe, especially when it's Megan, and it's important to sort of remind that this was. They, now she is with Harry as this is going down, correct? She's with Harry, but it hasn't come out yet. This is when uh, they were secretly dating. And when I say secretly dating, she, her agent knew. She <laughs> was telling everybody that she was dating a prince. <laughs> and um, But it wasn't uh, out there yet. The leak hadn't happened yet, which we now think she was the leak as well, because she had that uh, Vanity Fair Wild, Wild About, about Harry. Harry cover come out right, right after. after it was announced that they were dating. So they were dating. But she needed to somehow make it look like she was an A-list Hollywood actress and a bigger deal than she actually, because I mean, I had never heard of Meghan Markle. I'd never heard of Suits. I had never heard of Suits. I'd never heard of it. I didn't I, know anything I, about it. I heard of it, but I never wanted to watch it. And it wasn't that popular. I'm like, it was actually, yeah. that's not fair. I know there were fans. It was like one of those guilty pleasures, but it was on USA, which was yeah. harder to find. And like so it wasn't- stockings. Right. Yeah, it wasn't like the hit show everyone says. It was like one of those like, oh yeah, I've I've heard of that. Or I watch it when I'm home in my, you know, eating ice cream in my underwear or whatever. It, it wasn't like a huge primetime hit. So it is interesting to have that in there too. Like this is why is there suddenly this massive <laughs> um, group of so people? Yeah. So what's interesting because I mean, as two people that lived in Hollywood for 13 years. <laughs> This doesn't happen. You don't walk out of the standard hotel and have a swarm of men holding stacks of uh, headshots of you. Asking, provocative. Provocative headshots asking for your autograph. It just doesn't happen. Unless you call. And the Unless other, you call. Exactly. And then the other thing is um, her autograph was not worth anything. And what autograph seekers usually do is they ask the actors or the actors to sign and then they turn around and sell them on eBay. I mean, that's just, it's like a business and the actors know that, but Megan's signature was worth $0. <laughs> so it's so interesting. Cause you keep seeing this one guy and he's got like a stack of her headshots and he keeps going like, so he, what, so what basically happened was she leaked the information. I'm dating Prince Harry, her agency, uh, sunshine Sachs who at she, the time, at the time she was with, they set this up. They set this up where, a bu you know, what, five or six people were around and, and went, Megan, Megan, And Megan. wanted selfies. And then her co-star, Sarah Rafferty, who has an even, like, a big role on Suits, was coming out, too. And Sarah's face is so confused. So that's so, what's brilliant. So they're, what, they're at an event. What? Sorry, what was this event again? 
I don't know what the know? event was, but it looks like it was just a, um, you know, you go to like, you know, I remember like we would go to events like Ciroc would put out events. Or Sephora. Or like Sephora. They had a gift bag. And you get yep, a they have gift bag. bags. I'm no, yeah. Bag. Yeah. Promotion. Promotion. Right. And, and at this point, uh, she's not known as, you know, the Duchess. She's just no. a, a star on Suits. She's a nobody. She's a deal or no deal girl. Yeah. Uh, there's nothing massively special about her in this instance. So she seems to be trying to create a scene to make her more important. Yes. Is that, uh, yes? yes? Yes. Yes. With the help again. I mean, if you're going around to your agent and saying, I'm dating, uh, <laughs> Harry, people yeah. are going to want, you know, people, the agency is going to go, okay, well we can get this going. It's yeah. like, did mm. you ever see the movie Soap Dish? Mm -hmm. Goldberg? Okay. Remember Great the movie. I did love that movie as a kid. Yeah. Okay, remember the escalator scene where yes. Whoopi goes in the mall? Yeah. We're in the mall. Yeah. The yeah. escalator scene and Whoopi was like, look, look, it's you. It's you. And then everybody swarmed. That's yeah. what this is. Yeah. That's yeah. There's so pranks like that. You start taking, oh my God, look good. And everyone then immediately thinks it's a celebrity and starts taking pictures. But this exactly. Is this is media soap dish. This is sort of, so here's a moment. Here we go. Some, I'm such a big fan. What's your name? I'm Danny. It's so nice to meet you. Okay, I have, first of all, yeah, we have yeah, so much to unpack here. Look at that cringe face. <laughs> He's like, oh my God, what is she doing? What is she doing? <laughs> How would this guy not be a fan of Sarah too, right? I'm your biggest fan. This guy's such a plant. And and the, and the fact that Megan's letting him manhandle her like this like is such a red flag of clearly this is an approved plant that's all been part of it so she knows it's safe her reps there. What's your name? Oh, what's your yeah, name? It's so nice to meet you. Oh yeah, hi, hi. Oh my God, what a fake moment. <laughs> Take a look at Sarah's face when Danny, the guy, asks for the picture, and Sarah then does this thing where she kind of looks over at the pictures being signed because yeah. she's thinking, well, if they're fans of Megan, I don't want to be rude. I should probably go over there and sign some autographs too. But instead she looks over and then she realizes right away, oh, this is- They're this, pictures of they're Megan. They're pictures of Megan. <laughs> like, like, just watch her, watch her face, see? <laughs> oh my God. Literally all pictures of, who brings pictures of Megan? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is so embarrassing. Like, who would have her headshot? And then she's like, I'm out of here. No, it's a mystery, right? Yeah, look, wow, the face says it all. Like, oh, you are. I'm not going to resort to that. No, I'm class. Oh my God, I am begging one of these men, Danny, any of these people, please come clean. Approach me on social media. Come on the channel. We will bring back the Salitans. Please, come. Danny, come forward. If you know who Danny is, please, here is this picture again. If somebody can connect us to Danny, was this real, Danny, or did you get an alert? Do do I'm, I'm got the, the proper work here, Danny, and come clean. Did someone call you and say, go to this event and bring these photos and ask for autographs? Were you really a fan of Miss Meghan Markle? And if you are, I will correct it too. Please come on here. I don't know if I'll believe it, but please come on here and tell us. Anyway, guys, this is nuts. But also, it's like, this is what Megan wanted in the UK. This is the kind of stuff she wanted. She wanted fans to do this kind of stuff. And when they weren't, it was like, okay, we got to move back to LA to get this stuff to happen again. It's not yep. happening. This yep. is so cringe. She brings a stack of headshots to They're, so They're like, oh no, Megan, we saw you. You ordered this. <laughs> Maria! So oh my God, I, this is so embarrassing to watch. What what's won. this chatter? Here we go. Let's hear the chatter. They were in the pool. We saw you over there. I second leave. First of all, any real celebrity, for the record, doesn't just sign autograph collectors' stacks of photos. That's red flag number one. If you actually go watch Taylor Swift or any of these real celebrities, they make a point. They sign for kids. They maybe do one on the way out, but they don't sit there and just sign one after the other of random dudes with photography cameras because yeah. they're likely, you know, sellers or frauds or whatever. So this is so no, fake. I, mean, I was there for, I just didn't, I didn't, like, didn't leave. Yeah. You, like, didn't wanna, you didn't go to the pool. No, yeah, like, I saw you guys. You stayed in the pool. Oh, That's what it was. Once. You were in the pool. We saw you. I saw you guys. <laughs> I knew you were here for me. <laughs> yeah.
exactly. I saw you from inside. I'm like, they must be here for me. <laughs> <laughs> We're fine on you. No, I'm just You're like, oh, you. no, Megan, we saw you. You ordered this. <laughs> Maria! Thank you so much. Okay. Let's go, man. You guys, thank you so much. Thank I'm going to try to sign as many autographs yeah. as possible in this fake photo op. I'm dragging, I'm dragging her away. Your, I'll give you that guy. Yeah, thank you. Good, Good night, guys. You. Good to see you again. Bye. Bye. Again. Good to see you again. So they do this a lot. These are the Meghan Markle fans who show up to all her events with stacks of photos. And I love how the rep's like pulling her and Meghan's like, no, I need this. I need this photo op. Oh, let go, stop pulling me away, I'm not done. Yeah, yeah, of course. Let me take my time and take more photos as the rep's like, come on, Megan, this is pathetic. <laughs> Megan knows, man, she's about to blow up. Listen, Megan could not sell it to Harry that she needed protection. If, if she didn't set things like this up, she yep. couldn't wow. say, I'm so famous in America and um, it, like, I need constant protection. This, yeah, these setups were for optics for Harry and for the whole royal family. Cause they sort of believed her. It was like, oh, she's an actress. Well, we have to take care of her. Yeah, yeah we, we have, have to protect her. her. I mean, she's so, it's so cringe. This video these, was good. Like these are Suits fans, come on. I don't believe it for a second. <laughs> This Andy's. show wasn't that popular. They don't, it's why wouldn't they? Yeah, the huge red flag that it was staged is Sarah's like, oh, they only have photos of her. Because Sarah was a bigger star on the show, was she not? And plus, it's Sunset Boulevard. There are no, fans do not camp out on Sunset it's Boulevard true. like that. They just don't. For a D-list, you know, basic cable show actress. You're 100% right. Especially right. when there's just some, you know, uh, uh, promotion going on. How come, and how did the people know that there was a pool at the standard? They were like, did you go in the pool? And she goes, no. Well, <laughs> everyone knows there's a pool at the standard. No, not, well, what if <laughs> Oh, sister Idaho? fight, ding, ding, ding. What if they're in from Idaho? What if they're in from Idaho? I don't know. They Twin don't know. fight, exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I didn't know there was a pool, to be fair. But I, yeah, I mean, people in the industry would know. Of course, I'm sure people know out there. But uh, yeah, it's weird. It's weird. It's clearly they had like staged photo, I mean, staged yeah. questions to prep and like try to prop her up. You gotta find Danny, Andy. You gotta find Danny. Oh my God, please. He, reach out to any of us, Danny. If you know who <laughs> Danny is, here's the photo. How great would that be, Danny? It's like, of course they paid us. Of course this was bullshit. I would love for him to come clean on this. Danny, here he is again. One last look at Danny. You guys believe Danny's really? Danny, it's so nice to meet you. Danny, so nice to meet you. You think that's even his real name? I'm. That's not his real name. Such a big fan. Who is such a big fan of a Z-list basic cable star? Who does? They don't even know she's with Harry. Oh, this this is hilarious and infuriates me. I'm so glad you brought this. Any final thoughts to add to this? Anytime. We just, I just love how people who are kind of fans of Suits will come out and even say she didn't even have like a lot of minutes on each episode. She would maybe <laughs> do like five or six minutes. Because <laughs> so, I've never seen the show. I don't care about Suits. But. Maybe it's a dealer, deal, dealer. Yeah, exactly. you know, <laughs> I love when you it. held case five. It was so hot. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I love you know, that scene in Dawson's Creek where you pulled your top off. Wasn't it? She did a bunch of really bad stuff like that. Uh, no, so no, maybe they know. maybe they were fans. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Well, if you want more amazing stuff like that, support the Sidley Twins. So <laughs> not bring anytime you want to come over and bring some some fire like that. <laughs> we'll happily have you here. Go subscribe there. Always a pleasure, you two. Thanks so much for being here. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe to them. Subscribe here to Popcorn Palace. Hit the bell for alerts. Smash that button. Leave the uh, like button up or whatever. And leave a, an engagement comment. What do you think? How, how staged in a scale of 1 to 10? I'm going to say 100. Let's see your votes down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for more here on Popcorn Palace.